Hey everyone, this is Gray from Customer Service. Uh, it's Throw Rock Thursday, time to grab another one from the crates. Let's do it. All right, here it is, Cormorant Dwellings. It came out 2011, I'm sure you'll see that in the weird little text they put at the bottom of the screen. It's a Bay Area band. Uh, they're kind of a interesting blend of like progressive metal. Uh, they incorporate a lot of like melodic black metal as well. Uh, it's heavy, kind of like blast beaty. Uh, vocals are kind of growly, you know? Um, it's just a really interesting kind of blend of a lot of different genres. Uh, the guitar work actually really stands out too. Uh, it's kind of traditional metal. The solos are actually very classic rock influence, so they're very kind of soaring and, and, and very harmonized and everything. Um, the production actually, I think, is a, a really cool part of it. Uh, it was recorded analog, uh, all on tape, so it's uh, very kind of 70s organic, um, very, very raw and gritty. Every song is actually about a real event in human history. It's all, it's all based on reality. Uh, even the track we're listening to, Confusion of Tongues, uh, it's an instrumental track, but that song is actually about the fragmentation of languages that resulted from the construction of the Tower of Babel. Um, so kind of one last thing about the album, if you buy the physical CD here, we, this is not our store copy, so it doesn't fold out unfortunately, but it's actually a trifold that folds out vertically, so you can kind of see that if you flip it. And uh, every track is actually represented on the album. There's seven tracks, and every song is actually represented on the album art. So it's very, it's just as intricate as the music. So the tower here, if you see it kind of folds down like that, that's supposed to be the Tower of Babel, and then right there is the tightrope walker, so it'd be the, fun the funambulist, and then there's a telescope and stuff, and it's all related to space and everything. So every song, also on the album art, by the disc. Uh, the lyrics are the best I've heard in a metal album, some of the best I've ever heard, really. If you're into really good instrumentation, especially great words, check out the words on their website while you're listening. You will not be disappointed, I promise.